What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and our 2023 schedule preview projected record series continues here with the Kansas State Jayhawks. Big question for this team is, do they take that next step? Do they become one of the top teams in the Big 12? Or do they kind of stay in that middle of the middle of the pack? Because this was one of the biggest surprises last year. You look at Kansas, you look at Duke, uh, some of these teams that really uh, su surprised in college football last season. Kansas definitely was up there near the top. And they've got some guys coming back this year. So we'll see. We'll see where this team winds up. Uh, you take a look again at the record here last year was six and seven. They made it to a bowl game loss in a thriller. That was one of the best bowl games all season, but um, still made it to a bowl game. And, and that was a successful season for them. Uh, they'll open up with a Thursday night game against Missouri State on August 31st. Then they'll play Illinois in the non-conference on September the 9th. The next is Nevada on the road on the 16th. Then they'll play BYU at home on the 23rd, one of the newcomers there in the Big 12, and that'll be their first conference game. After that, they play Texas on the road on September 30th. Then they get UCF at home on October the 7th. Then it'll be a road game at Oklahoma State on the 14th, and then a bye week. So they get a bye week between Oklahoma State and Oklahoma. Remember last year, the way their schedule worked out, uh, they got off to that great start, and then the schedule kind of caught up to them. Uh, this year, it's it's a little bit more balanced, a little bit more balanced. You got Texas pretty early, Oklahoma middle of the season. That'll be on the 28th against the Sooners. And then they'll play on the road at Iowa State on November the 4th. And then it'll be Texas Tech at home on November 11th, Kansas State on the 18th at home, and then Cincinnati on the 25th. That will be a road game. So you look at this schedule, you look at the newcomers, they're going to play BYU, they're going to play UCF, they're going to play Cincinnati. Uh, they will not play Houston. That'll be the one newcomer that they don't play. They get to play Texas. Or, well, I, sh I don't know if I should say get to, but they'll play Texas and Oklahoma uh, in their final season in the Big 12. They'll play both of them. Uh, they will not play TCU, so that's good news. You know, TCU may be the best team in the Big 12 this year. I, I think there's definitely an argument uh, for that one. But they're not going to play TCU. They're not going to play West Virginia. That'll be another team that they don't play in the Big 12 from the, the original Big 12s. And they don't play Baylor, who could be pretty good this year as well. So um, it, it's pretty tough. You know, it's pretty tough having Oklahoma and Texas, but at least you don't have TCU. Um, again, this is, is a schedule that is not horrible, but it's not going to be the easiest schedule in the Big 12 either. Uh, so this is the, we'll get to the projection here. This is the scale that we use. If it's a 50-50 game, it'll stay in the white. Those are games where I think the spread will be less than a touchdown. Under 20, over 80, those are games where I think the spread will be 20 or more points. 20 to 29, 71 to 80, those are games where I think the spread will be double digits. And then 30 to 39, 61 to 70, those are games where I think the spread will be about a, about a touchdown, six, seven, eight points. You got a, a one easy win, pretty much guaranteed win. That's Missouri State. They should be favored by you know, 28, 30 points in that one. And then Nevada is maybe they're only favored by 17 or 18. It is on the road, but uh, Kansas should be a, a, a clear favorite. And, you know, that's something that we haven't always been able to say. You, know, you go back a few years ago, Kansas going on the road to face a, a team like Nevada. That's a 50-50 game. But this team really has turned things around. Jalen Daniels will be back at quarterback. They've got a lot of pieces coming back. So this should be a pretty good team. And like I said, you know, is this a team that is going to, to get into that top tier of the Big 12 or stay kind of in the middle uh, for this projection? Again, if you've been watching these videos, what we do is we, we go by how they were last year and then maybe move them up or down just a little bit based off of what they have coming back. So Kansas still kind of in that same spot for me, uh, at least in this projection. That may change when I do my predictions, which will come out after spring. But uh, Nevada is a game where I, I think they should win. Uh, I think they're going to be underdogs against Texas and Kansas State. About a touchdown underdog in both of these games. Um, and, and that seems to be, you know, Texas on the road. That'll be tough. Uh, Kansas State's a team that just won the Big 12. Maybe Kansas State drops off, though. We'll see. But again, based off of last year, this this was your Big 12 champion. So I think that, that we can say they'll be about a touchdown favorite. And, you know, so if you watch the Texas Tech video, I had that game um, at where Kansas would be about a touchdown underdog. But on Oklahoma, I had it as a 50-50 game. And Oklahoma and Texas Tech, to me, are basically in the same tier. 
So I, I've kind of reversed that, and it, you know, so it's not consistent there with Texas Tech. It wouldn't change the Texas Tech projection, so it really doesn't matter. But I, I'm going to put both of those games, Oklahoma and Texas Tech, in the 50-50. In fact, all of these games, the rest of these games, are all going to be 50-50 games. You know, you got Illinois, BYU, UCF, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, Iowa State, Texas Tech, and Cincinnati. Um, you know, I think Kansas will be favored against Illinois by a little bit, favored against BYU by a little bit. UCF may be favored a little bit. Oklahoma State on the road, probably a slight underdog. Oklahoma, probably a slight underdog against them. Iowa State would be in the purple if it was at home because Iowa State was the worst team in the Big 12 last year. But on the road, and, and you're looking at and you look at Iowa State, this is a team that should be better this year. And that's why that one winds up in the 50-50 category. Uh, just talked about Texas Tech. You know, I think Texas Tech will be favored, but it's going to be close. Texas Tech and Oklahoma will be right there between four, five, six, seven points, and you know it could really go either way. Um, and then Cincinnati, that's a game that I think Kansas is probably going to be favored in. Uh, I don't know. Cincinnati's a tough one with a new coach and and a lot of new faces there as well. But again, this has been the consistent with almost every Big 12 team where you're going to have eight games that are 50-50 games, and that's what we get with Kansas. And if you win them, you're going to have a great year. You lose them, you're going to have a bad year. You split them, you're going to have a decent year. And that's really what it comes down to. Uh, so for the projection, we give them the two wins, Missouri State and Nevada. Texas and Kansas State are considered are counted at 35%. The rest of the game's at 50%. And that gives you a projection of 7-5. and five. And that seems to be that number where, and I just talked about this the other day, almost every Big 12 team, you've got two easy wins on the schedule, and you're probably going to split the rest of the games if the odds play out, and that gets you to 7-5. and five. Uh, Because you've got two games in the yellow, they're closer to 6-6 six and six than they are 7-5. and five. But it does round up to 7-5. and five. I think they were at... If I remember right, maybe 6.7 wins. I don't remember the exact number. Um, but yeah, the odds would say they're going to probably split the rest of these games and get to 7 and 5. 6 and 6, the next most likely record. But 6 and 6, 7 and 5, that seems to be where Kansas will be. So about the same as last year, maybe a little bit better. Uh, that is what the numbers would, would tell us with this formula. What do you think about Kansas? Can they take that next step? Will they be improved? Will they be about the same? Our projection for Kansas in 2023 is 7-5. and five.